despite advancing to this extent and evolving themselves, humans are said to be the most complicated creatures on Earth. We are responsible for the condition of this planet today, which we did in the name of growth and development. We are so engrossed in cherishing and covering up the evilness of what we are doing today, that many say we're forgetting about where we came from and what our true meaning is. On this topic, most of the people will assure they do know who their ancestors are and how they evolved, but we never wonder about the fact that it's not possible for everyone to evolve or adapt to new surroundings. The truth is that many ancient humans and creatures have come and gone, and the large majority of these have been lost to science. The big question is though what happened to these ancient creatures? Or for that matter, what happened to our ancient ancestors and what was their downfall? These questions demand the study of time before and after the existence of these complicated creatures. If we seek answers to our ancestors and the past, then there are some discoveries and observations which shed light on the mysterious life of human beings, and what led them into oblivion. One of the most recent discoveries is that scientists have said they found evidence of a ghost population of ancient humans. This isn't meant to be taken literal. Ghost population is the population which is inferred using statistical techniques. Researchers were always in doubt if there were other ancient humans who once existed in Africa, but their DNA or fossils were never found. A peculiar discovery has been made by scientists recently, in which they stated something which is enigmatic for humans today. Scientists claim they have found mysterious genes of ancient humans who lived around half a million years ago in West Africa. Though this discovery also left researchers confused. The team started to study this concept in depth, to find out actual cause behind this. While digging into the matter, they reached a point where researchers found traces of unknown ancestors in the genomes of West African populations. On further evaluation, scientists observed up to a fifth of the population's DNA in that area is suspected to have come from missing relatives. It's been estimated that 2 to 19% of modern West Africans' genetic ancestry is constructed by this DNA. Then the question was raised, how is it possible to have this ghost population among us? In this explanation, various theories were given, but the most appreciated one is that it's been suspected that thousands of years ago, the ancestors of modern West Africans mated with unknown archaic humans, just like once ancient Europeans interbred with Neanderthals. To prove the discovery, scientists studied every chunk of DNA they found to be different from modern human genes. While examining these genes, they were able to pull back sequences which they suspected most probably came from an ancient relative. When these genes were compared with genes from Neanderthals and Denisovans, they became sure that the DNA came from an unknown group of humans. As we know, various species related and distinct existed on Earth at the same time. Reproduction was an important process to take human evolution to the next level. When these species lived together, mating was not out of the ordinary. They interbred with each other, but distinct species which resulted in strange genes in population patterns emerged, like Europeans carrying Neanderthal genes, and Australians, Malaysians and Polynesians carrying genes from Denisovans, and Africans carrying not yet discovered genes of archaic humans. UCLA researchers said the following. While several studies have revealed contributions from deep lineages to the ancestry of present-day Africans, the nature of these contributions remain poorly understood. The findings are interesting and have added another mystery in regards to our ancient ancestors. Over many thousands of years there have been various waves of mating, or variety in the population of yet unknown archaic human relatives. The other expected could be that this ghost population might have split thousands of years ago from ancestors of Neanderthals and modern humans. At some point in the past, thousands from this group would have been bred from the ancestors of modern West Africans. Another interesting study that was conducted showed researchers that Homo sapiens could have hunted and eaten Neanderthals. Human evolution is quite well known to science as research teams have been studying them for years but we've never really thought about what would have happened to the species which were unable to evolve or adapt to their surroundings. How did they meet their end? 
We never felt the need to ask such questions because we felt the things which were served to us were accurate, and it's common sense to predict how they died. But now scientists say that our instinct is incorrect. Years ago, anthropologists came up with a hypothesis in which they wondered about hungry human hunters, as they were suspected for partially exterminating 178 large mammals in the past. The question was then put forward, what if they did the same with Neanderthals? Today, we see humans eating rats, bats, dogs and a variety of other animals. The argument these days is that we don't necessarily have to do this, but going back they wouldn't have had much of a choice, and would have taken whatever was in front of them. During those times when there was limited resources available, and when humans were not so evolved, they would have perhaps taken the opportunity to feed upon the weak ones. As Darwin stated, survival of the fittest. Here this theory can be applied in proper terms. By the end of the Pleistocene, Neanderthals became slow reproducing mammals, and in fear from humans in every other aspect. The humans might have predated over them in competition for food and place. There is no convincing evidence yet in favour of this statement, and all those evidence which are presented to claim the hypothesis are not enough. One researcher named Mr. Martinez Navarro said the following, The only matter to test this is to find direct evidence of modern human eating marks on Neanderthal remains. We even broken marks on bones in artifacts made by modern humans. As of today, more research is being carried out. Another interesting creature that's grabbed the attention of experts is that of Gigantopithecus. One of the biggest questions in regards to this animal is why did Gigantopithecus become extinct? Gigantopithecus holds claim to being the biggest ape to have ever existed. Interestingly, humans would have been around while they were on the planet, with researchers saying they coexisted with Homo erectus. The fossil record of this primate species suggests that Gigantopithecus were the largest known species of primates reaching a height of around 9.8 feet and weighing in the region of 580 to 600 kilograms. During the Pleistocene era, climate change caused plants to change, and fruit started to dwindle which was the ultimate cause for their extinction. It's been theorised that this happened around 100,000 years ago. In the savannah, the main food sources were leaves, roots and grasses, which Gigantopithecus did not eat. After research, it's been suggested that Gigantopithecus probably did not have the same ecological flexibility, and possibly lacked the psychological ability to resist stress and food shortages. According to this hypothesis, starvation could have been the reason behind their extinction. They exclusively depended upon the forest for food and habitat, but as the Ice Age hit, the Earth began to change. Dense forests started changing into grasslands, where they only got bamboo to consume. As the climate started to change around them, they also had to change. It's said that a few of these massive creatures would have survived, but the large majority would have perished. From the fossils and protein sequence of Gigantopithecus, scientists figured out these giant beasts were similar to orangutans. During this change in the forest, smaller primates were able to take advantage of the situation Due to their smaller size, orangutans had the ability to reduce their metabolism to low levels, and this would have helped when food was unavailable. This feature helped them to keep their population alive in dark times. Maybe Gigantopithecus did not have this option so they met their end. One research scientist said the following, During that era, a lot of fluctuations in climate were experienced, and there were also colder and drier conditions. I see this as a beginning study. It's putting a new piece in the puzzle, and the puzzle is not very complete. There is also speculation there was a competition between Homo erectus and Gigantopithecus, and this was mainly for food and shelter. This has been suspected because fossils of both these mammals were found in South China, which indicate they coexisted in the times of climate change, in the same place where there was already a small amount of food available. Ultimately, there's many creatures that have been recorded that were much larger in size thousands of years ago. Scientists have said the same thing would have happened to Megalodon during its reign. Its massive size would have actually been one of its downfalls, 
as it would have needed to be on the hunt every chance it got. Keeping a 60-foot body working at all times would have been tough, and ultimately when its food source moved to colder waters, this giant shark quickly vanished from our oceans. So what do you make of these ancient discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.